Hello, it's Simon Zucci here. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five ways to find good property deals. Now, each of these methods do not cost you a penny to put into practice. And although there are more than 20 ways to be finding great deals, I like these particular five methods because they're really good for the current market conditions. Now, interestingly, two of these methods I'm gonna share, I probably wouldn't have recommended these 12 months ago, but based on what's happening in the property market right now, these two methods have become more appropriate. So the first method is working with the state agents, and the second method is going to property auctions. Now, normally, I wouldn't recommend these two strategies because that's what everybody else does. And in a rising market, which you've had in the last couple of years, Estate agents and auctions are flooded by people who don't really know what they're doing and often pay too much for the properties they're looking to buy. However, because the property market is coming down in 2023, the market has changed. It's no longer a seller's market. It's now a buyer's market where there are more sellers than there are buyers. So it means buyers are more flexible and open to uh, negotiation. And estate agents who haven't really had to work with us as property investors over the last two years, they've been very blase and they didn't really need us previously. Now, estate agents need us. They need us to come and buy properties because there aren't that many people looking to buy right now because the market's coming down and because the market challenges, such as getting finance right now, is not very easy because of the high interest rates and the high stress tests. So the best way for you to work with a estate agent is to call them up and have an initial conversation and then physically go in to meet them. You see, most people have got very lazy because of COVID. They're used to doing things remotely, speaking on the phone. But you've got to remember that property is a people business. It's all about forming relationships with the people you're working with. So actually going in to see the estate agents and spending some time with them is definitely the best way to make an impression. Now, the mistake many people do is they go into an agent and say, I've just done some property training. I want to buy 10 properties in the next two months. And the agents look at them and think, oh, my God, here's another idiot who's done some property training. A much better way is to go into an agent and say something like this. Say, hi, uh, I'm looking to invest in this area. I'm looking to buy maybe two properties over the next six months. And I'm looking for an expert to help me with that. Is it something you could help me with? So we're not going in claiming we know everything. We're positioning the estate agent as the expert, putting them on a pedestal and saying, look, I'm really looking for an expert to help me. Is that something you can help with? And also, we say we want two properties. Why two? Well, most people who go and buy a property, they have some money, they buy that property, and then they tied up all their funds until a few years later, they maybe refinance the property, take some money out and go and buy another one. So by letting the agent know we're looking to buy two properties, they're going to make twice the amount of commission by working with us as opposed to someone else who's only going to buy one property. And two is a believable amount in six months, even if you want to buy 10. If you say that to an agent, they just won't believe you and they'll think you're a time waster. So that's definitely a way to position yourself. Now, when speaking to estate agents, we never want to talk about buying below market value or motivated sellers, although that's what we're looking for. They may not understand the terminology because as far as they're concerned, everyone wants to sell their property. They're all motivated, but also everyone wants to get the top possible price they can, which certainly in a booming market is the case. But as the market conditions have changed and they're coming down in 2023, there are lots of sellers who just want that speed and certainty of a sale, particularly if they've had a property sale fall through already. So the questions you might want to be asking agents, and by the way, I've done some other videos on this YouTube channel all about these questions you can ask estate agents. One of them is, have you had any properties where the sale has fallen through? If a sale's fallen through, that seller is going to be far more motivating and wanting to get a great solution where they can sell the property quickly to someone who is a credible buyer. So that's what we're looking for, the motivated sellers. And by the way, maybe only 5% of sellers are truly motivated, maybe 10 in the current market condition. So it is a bit of a numbers game. Now, the next best way to get properties 
at uh, this time of uh, climate is from auctions. And again, normally I would not recommend auctions because you get a lot of people coming in, they're bidding against each other, they're competing, and often people end up paying too much for the properties. However, in a market where prices are coming down, auctions are not going to be as busy. And what that means is at the end of the auction, there are a number of properties that are unsold. They didn't reach the reserve price. Now, one of the reasons people put their property into an auction is because they want to sell the property quickly. When the hammer goes down, you exchange contracts that day, and normally you have 28 days to complete. Well, if it doesn't actually sell in the auction, they're thinking, oh my God, an auction should have got the best price for me, all these people competing. If I can't even sell it in an auction, am I ever going to sell this property? So for that reason, it's the properties that haven't sold at the end of the auction, we can approach the auction company and say, look, I'm kind of interested in that property. And the owner might be far more open and flexible to some sort of creative solution or a deal because they think they're not going to sell their property otherwise. The next way that you can find potential motivated sellers for free is by going online to a website like spareroom.co.uk where landlords advertise the rooms they have available uh, in their properties. And you wanna look for the landlords that are struggling, that are not doing a very good job, they're not using a letting agent, they're trying to do it themselves, and frankly, they don't really know what they're doing. So go and look for the adverts that are not very good. The ones that don't have good pictures, they've got poor descriptions, they're ones right at the bottom of the listings, because those are the ones that are not going to have tenants calling them. So they've got empty rooms sitting there, cost them money, and they might be really open to someone who's giving them a guaranteed rent, such as a rent to rent or purchase lease option. So look for the adverts on sparerooms.co.uk, where the landlords are obviously not doing a very good job, and it's a great way to find potential deals. Again, you reach out to those landlords, let them know you're interested in renting the property. And when you're having a conversation with them, that's when you can start talking about some of the creative solutions. Please do not message people through spareroom.co.uk saying, I'd like to give you a guaranteed rent for three to five years, because if you do that, spare room thinks you're trying to sell them something and will close the account. So just say you're interested in uh, renting the property and then when you actually have a conversation with them you can then talk about the different solutions you have the next free of charge way of finding potential deals in your area is by going to networking meetings there are a couple of different types there are the ones that we property investor network organize there are 50 around the country every single month typically in the evening and we have a lot of people who are new to investing a lot of experienced investors who come for the connection and networking, but also people who come along, they've got properties they don't want anymore, they want to sell them. And it's a great way of finding people who might be offloading some of their properties. There are also meetings organized by the local councils, and they're very different from the property investor network meetings. There's no music, it's full of landlords who are moaning about how difficult life is, etc. And guess what? Some of those people might be interested in getting rid of some of their properties. So again, going to networking meetings or even business networking meetings, you might be the only property person there. And there might be someone who's got a business and they're an accidental landlord. And again, they're looking to get rid of some of their properties. So networking meetings is a great way to meet people. And then finally, letting agents. Now, most letting agents don't sell property. They just manage properties for other people. And so if you go to those particular letting agents, who don't actually sell property and ask them, hey, do you have any landlords who might be thinking about retiring or selling up? Sure enough, they probably will have some people like that. Now, the problem for a letting agent, if a landlord who they're looking after is looking to sell, the person who buys that property, they could be a homeowner, so live in the property themselves. They might be another landlord who wants to self-manage or another landlord who's using a different letting agent. So in other words, the letting agent who's currently looking after the property could potentially lose their revenue when this landlord sells. So it's not good news for them. But you can say to that letting agent, look, if you've got any people who want to sell, what I'll do, not only will I pay you a small finance fee, maybe £500, but also I will keep the property with you for at least two years so you've got the ongoing revenue. If you do a good job, I'll leave it with you indefinitely. So this is a great way of this letting agent protecting the revenue they normally get from managing the properties, but also giving you the opportunity to pick those properties up 
from retiring landlords. And this year, we're seeing more and more landlords looking to retire than ever before. Lots of people leaving the market. So it's a great opportunity for you to get in and pick up some great deals. So those are my five top tips for picking up deals right now. Working with estate agents, working with auction houses where properties fail to sell in auction, um, reaching out to landlords who are advertising their properties on places like spareroom.co.uk and not doing a very good job, going to networking meetings like Property Investor Network, and finally, um, speaking to letting agents who've been notified by the landlords they might be selling their properties. Now, there are actually over 20 ways of finding uh, sellers, and I've got some online training all about that. If you click on the link below this uh, video, you can come and register for online training to hear about all the other methods you can use to find potential property sellers who might be more motivated. Some of them are completely free, like the ones I've shared today. Some of them are paid ones, but these are great ways to find great deals in your area. I hope you like this video. Please tick the like, uh, please subscribe and hit on the bell icon as well so you get notified whenever these videos come out. Until next time, I encourage you to invest with knowledge, invest with skill. I do hope you got massive value from watching this YouTube video. I'd encourage you to click on the link below to come and do the online training with me. And I've got another video lined up for you, which I think is also going to be really useful that you should watch once you've registered for the online training with me. So invest with knowledge, invest with skill. I'll see you very soon.